Hey guys, welcome to Stubbs Effects Tutorials. Today we're doing the man in the mirror. The first thing you'll need is a mirror. You also need a tripod to set up your camera on or some sort of flat surface but you have to make sure it's in the right position. I shouldn't really have to tell you this but you also need a camera. Kind of a giveaway. Lastly you're going to need some space to shoot. You can't really shoot in a small bathroom. First set up your camera so it's about at a 60 degree angle from you in the mirror and make sure the camera is out of sight. Since we're shooting two shots we're we have to make sure that this camera doesn't move at all or else in the final product you'll see that there's a crack in the frame from where the two shots were separated. Also when you're shooting you're going to want to make sure that there's room between you in real life for your shoulder like your shoulder right here and the guy in the mirror. So let's say our first shot we're going to do this guy our shoulder. We're going to make him bend over like they usually do in the movies and the image will stay here. Alright, so now we got our first weird shot, and our second one is going to be the guy in the mirror. He's going to do the same thing at start, he's just going to stand there, and we're going to transition it into what he's going to do differently than the person in real life. Ooh. So that's how our two shots are going to go, and it looks kind of stupid right now but in editing it'll look better okay guys so the first thing you want to do is import your video to your editing program and put one over the other it's what I did and now on the top layer so my top layer would be the shoulder guy the guy to the back facing us and we're gonna create a mask around him so basically we just a couple of different points because we're gonna have to move them later depending on how I move. And now we have one over the other. You can kind of see that there is a crack. First thing you want to do now is in the masks options, right? You want to make this a little blurrier. So, cause watch right now. See how it's kind of like sharp? We're going to feather it. Make it more blending. There we go, now you can't really tell. Now we have to go through each frame, changing how this mask shape is, depending on how our person is moving. So right now he's still good, and as you see, he's starting to move right here, so we're going to have to move this. And we're going to have to go through each frame doing that. As he bends over here, you can see that in the mirror, I'm there, so we have to make it a little more sharp. And this might take a while, but at the end it'll be worth it. So I'm going to skip ahead and hopefully this works out. Okay guys, as you see, I went through all of the frames, manually moving the mask to fit the guy and it went pretty well. One of the problems that I had was uh, that different the, uh, the shot on the left was a different color than the shot on the right so I just went into the effects and changed the brightness and the contrast to match the video on the right. Now it's pretty seamless. You can't tell that much that they're separate shots. As you can see though you can kinda see some blurry back of my head right here that's from the other shot but this is about a 10 minute job uh, if you spend more time on it then it would turn out much better okay so that's pretty much it you're done your edit you're done your editing of it the video and if you want you can add some touch up effects here's an example of one of the touch up effects that you could do <coughs> um, I basically I put masks around a black solid and feathered them so it kind of has like a black outline. Also, if I go into the effects here, 
I changed the bright I brought down the brightness a little and brought up the contrast. Um, I gave it a blue color like a filter and in the curves I changed it around a bit to make it more film like and there are other tutorials on this how to do that but that's how to touch it up and let's see our final product.